going on YouTube, Smashing Pumpkin here, coming at you guys with a video today. Today I'm going to be using my OCG Evil deck, and this was kind of an interesting game in a lot of senses, because you get to see the duality of the two decks that play Lagia, one of which is the Rescue Rabbit deck that ran rampant a couple of years ago, but since fallen out of favor because of the limiting of Rescue Rabbit, but he starts off with his probably ideal hand which is Lagia and Dimensional Fissure. If you had a couple more back row, it would be really, really good too. But I have two card out to Lagia, so that's where my back row is going to be sunk into, is by getting rid of Lagia. Which is nice, because I also have the Warning, which I know I'm going to be using for Tour Guide. So I chose not to set it. And I go Evo Diversity into Westlow, so I can get some plays off, maybe make my own Lagia, hopefully. And then I upstart, and I draw into my Evo Force, and I was just like, damn, if I got into Josh Odo, different game. But anyway, he goes Tour Guide, and I decide to let him go through his Tour Guide so that I can make sure that he doesn't top deck another one, because that's pretty much the only scary card he has in his deck that really threatens me right now. Uh, I'm not too, too afraid of Guaiba, I'm not afraid of any of his vanillas, obviously. Maybe Thunder King, but I do have Diplo and Lance, so he decides not to let me flip up my Westlow, which is totally chill. And I decide to go into Serato, and then normal some of my Diplo just to deal more damage, and also search out a um, Evil Tile from my deck, thanks to Serato. He does not have to send to the graveyard, I was pretty impressed. And then I swing in for 23, and then I make my Lagia, which is pretty awesome. And then I decide to set my Evo Diversity as a bluff, so there was that too. And he's pretty down, I mean, he doesn't have a whole lot he can do with the rest of the game, but I decide to just stop his card car so that he doesn't have any real plays. Uh, he says a couple of back row, which I'm totally cool with. And then end my turn. This is kind of risky, because if he had um, Torrential... I would have been kind of, like, screwed, but I feel like he would have set Torrential already, and if he already had drawn it, well then, that's really, like, statistically low, so. I just decided to go for it, because this would be OTK, possibly. And I still have the Lance anyway to protect one of my monsters, so there is that too. I end up making another Lakia. I can't attack with Serato, but I guess he just forfeits anyway. Which is fine, I guess. <laughs> Not reading cards for the win. So we go into side decking. I decide Rivalry is pretty good. Thunder King, obviously, and then Black Horns. Uh, Rivalry because um, Lagia and Dolka are dragons. So I felt like that would have been kind of cool. And I just take out like Fiendish Chain and stuff like that. Mainly because I don't see them being that helpful, but whatever. Uh, he starts off really, really good this game. Like, <laughs> it's it's really short. He opens Rabbit and then top decks Tour Guide next turn, so there's so little I can do to that situation. Um, I decide to set my um, Serato just to bluff him out, but that ends up being the wrong play. Well, I don't know. He makes a Dolka this turn, I assume. So, I mean, I didn't stick around to see what happened, but... With my hand, I didn't think I could top deck anything. And if he made a second Lagia or maybe a Dolka, I would have lost, so. I just decided to move on to game three where I had a much better chance. But then I opened up like a lot of my dinosaurs, and if you've ever played Evils, you know that you don't want to open up the dinosaurs. You want to keep them in your deck. But he summons the Guaiba, I top deck diversity, activate, and then I try to do a sneaky play where I bluff set my Volcano, but he mind crushes as soon as I add to my hand, so then I discard the Najasho, and then I have to show my hand. And at this point I'm just like, well he knows I have a really weak hand, so why not just go all out? If he has Fiendish Chain and Lance, he has Fiendish Chain and Lance, so I'm not even worried. But he doesn't have Fiendish Chain and Lance, so I'm perfectly fine to make my Lagia, and then negate his Lance, and then attack over for 700. And then this pretty much spells the end of the game for him, because he's down so much advantage. 
and he doesn't really have a whole lot they can do. He just keeps on sighting things. I mean, I just summoned Serato and an attack. His Knight Assailant decides to blow up Serato, which is the right play. But I pretty much have this game by like the nuts right now. Uh, maybe you should have set Evo Diversity as a bluff, but I didn't really need it, so. I swing in for 24 again, and I decide to set my West low, just in case I needed to do something, or maybe bait him to attack it. Um, and then I decide to go for game. He has, I believe, Compulsory for my Lagia, which is fine. And then I go flip the West low, and I wanted to get Volcano, but I don't have any left in my deck because my opening turns were really that bad. So I summon Overlay. If he had a Torrential there, I would have still been fine. I had Diplo and um, seven, no, not seven tools was set yet, but I would have it for later. But then he decides to Book of Moon, and I decide that the only thing he could have left is Torrential. So I just flip summon in, and then that's the game. So thank you guys for watching. This is Smashing Pumpkin, signing out. Peace.